kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like she a guan. Me say you want me to Hi guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I've got another amazing, delicious recipe for you all. I'm going to show you and how I make curry chicken drumstick. Yes, I'm telling you, this is just another idea that you can curry any part of your chicken. And trust me, you guys are going to enjoy it. Yes, so guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please share, share, share subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and hit your notification button for whenever i upload a video you will be the first to see it okay thank you all so much in advance and stay tuned for the video so in my bowl right here i've got at least seven chicken drumstick chicken legs that are the wash and clean in some lemon juice and i also have one small potato and one small carrot that I cut, as you can see, half onion that I chop. Also have one stalk of my scallion, at least four cloves of garlic that I finally chop, one tablespoon of my fresh thyme, and two teaspoons of my fresh ginger, one teaspoon of my pimento seed, all spice, some scotch bunny pepper, you just need a little bit, okay? Unless you like your food really spicy. Here I have my curry powder, one tablespoon, and this is my Jamaican better pack curry powder. I love use that curry powder because it gives your meat, your chicken a nice color. Yeah. And these are all of my seasoning. Here I have one teaspoon of my jerk powder seasoning, half teaspoon of my black pepper, two teaspoon of my chicken seasoning and two teaspoons of my all-purpose seasoning, yes. So first thing I'm gonna do guys, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of oil to my chicken drumstick. That's when it's seasoned, you know, the season go on nicely, yeah. I'll cut my scotch bonnet pepper. You don't need a lot, unless as I said, you want it to be really spicy. I add at least one tablespoon, then I'm gonna add my onion my garlic my ginger my pimento seed my fresh thyme scallion just gonna blend all my seasoning just gonna add it just like so i'm just gonna leave back a little bit for my gravy also gonna add my curry powder You know, just take my gloves and just massage all that seasoning all over onto my chicken drumstick, chicken leg. These chicken legs are quite big. You can smell that curry powder already. May I tell you the better part curry powder? Mm, I love it. Really authentic. If you don't have the better pack curry powder guys, you can just use whichever one you have. They have many other Caribbean curry powder you can use. I believe they sell on Amazon and eBay. You can leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes. Or even overnight, it all depends. But as I always said guys, once you season your meat, your chicken properly, it will still be delicious. You can even cut the fat is on there, so you can just, you know, lift the skin up and just season underneath it. Yeah? Yeah. That's done. So guys, in my pot right here, I add at least three tablespoons of oil. So now I'm gonna burn my curry. I'm just gonna burn it for at least 20 seconds, okay? I add at least three teaspoons of my curry. Mix it all in. So now guys, I'm gonna add my chicken drumstick. 
try not to add the onion and the garlic you can just you know flush it off if some of it gets into the pot it's fine but try and shake it off as much as possible okay just gonna space them out Gonna mix it all in. As you can see, it is started to sear. Just gonna leave it uncovered, guys, for at least three, four minutes. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some water, some water from my kettle in my bowl, and I'm gonna add at least three cups of water. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna mix it all in. This is our, this is our Jamaican made their brat. This is our brat, guys. So now I'm gonna add the water. Just add it to the side. like so then I'm gonna add all my remaining seasoning and I also add just a bit of my curry powder to my seasoning I'm gonna mix it all in add just a bit of my salt just taste it to your liking okay so now I'm gonna add my carrot I'm gonna cook it guys for at least 15 minutes then after I add my potato okay just gonna cover it up so guys, my curry chicken drumstick been cooking just over 15 minutes. So now I'm just going to remove the lid. Woo! Look at that. Absolutely delicious. It looks so good. So what you can do guys, if the water is reducing, you can also add, you know, just a bit more water to it. Okay? So I'm just going to add my remaining. I have some onion, some garlic, some scallion and carrot leaf back so I'm just gonna add it all and I'm also gonna add my potato some more of my fresh thyme I'm not gonna leave it guys for at least 15 minutes okay cover my pot so guys, my curry chicken drumstick, chicken leg, it's finally finished and it's been cooking total 30 minutes, okay? I'm telling you, guys, it's looking super, super delicious. I mean, just look at it. It looks so, so, so good. I'm just loving the color. Please don't forget, guys, to give this video a thumbs up and share it to someone that you know will also enjoy it, okay? So guys you can always serve it with some white rice i love white rice with curry chicken yes you can also serve it with some boiled dumpling some green banana mashed potato whatever you preferred i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you try it comment below and tell me what it's like okay i thank you all so much for watching until next time bye thank you all so much for all your love and your support i really really appreciate it bye guys love you all